Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Play Portal, where we last left off, we completed Test Chamber 16, and now we are in Test Chamber 17, and the there's a cube up there. Will deliver a, weighted companion cube in three, a companion two, cube? One. Aww, look at it, it's so cute, it's like a regular cube, but it has hearts on it. I this like it. This companion cube will accompany you through the test chamber. Please take care of it. I will. I will hug him and squeeze him and call him George. He would be my squishy. <laughs> He's my he he. I will call him squishy, and he shall be mine. And all right, yeah, pretty much this thing will accompany you through the, the entire test chamber. So you'll be using it to knock over fire like that, and you'll also be using it to press switches. So just be careful and don't let those things hit you. Let me try and get it from the front there. In fact. Cannot speak. <laughs> I would hope not that it wouldn't threaten to stab me. It doesn't have any knives. It's got no arms either, so... Oh, jeez. Whew, that was close. I saw that coming from the back there. Alright. Aw, oh, poor thing's got some damage on it. Look at it. Aw. Get rid of that. Get out of here. Alright. Oh, there's another one. Get out of here. I don't want you looking at me. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do is go down this way. And, uh, because pretty much there's three switches like that, and we're going to want to hit them. So the three platforms here will go up. So we can start with this one. This one's the easiest. You just want to, uh, pretty much ricochet the beam off of the companion cube and hit it into that. Just like that. Not too bad. The other ones are a little more difficult. And we're going to have to use the things that were shooting at us earlier on. The first one that we should do is this one. Because you got to pretty much shoot a thing here. It'll go and it'll hit that and it'll come back down there. But we're going to need one of the uh, beams up there. So let's go get that. We can leave the companion cube over there for now. We'll come back for them. Um, I guess we'll use this one. Which portal did I use over there? Oh, none of them. Okay, so you use the orange portal over there and the blue portal right there. And it should go perfectly. The there we go. And now we're safe in and we can walk through here, no problem. the weighted companion cube does speak, the enrichment center urges you to disregard its advice. I don't know, I trust the companion cube more than you. Alright, now that that thing's pushed, let's throw a portal right there. And now we need to use the orange portal on the other side. See, these chambers are getting ridiculously more confusing. Alright, now we're gonna want to get it over there. We'll use the companion cube over here. What you want to do is just throw the companion cube right up here on this switch so that door will open and then we're gonna stand here so that door opens. But first we're gonna want to throw a thing right there and now we're gonna wait for it to shoot. As you can see that door is open. We're gonna want to move out of the way though just so the thing can push past. And once that pushes through, we should be able to uh, do it. Yep, here it comes. Now, quickly get back on, and it should go right in. All right, no problem. If that one, that trick is a little more difficult to figure out, but once you understand how uh, buttons work and how all those uh, devices work, you should be able to figure out, no problem. All right, now we want to get up there, so let's take the companion cube and go back up there. It looks so, it looks like it's in pain. Look at it, it's got like little marks on it. That's so sad. All right, let's go across. Whoa, I hear a radio. Where are you? Oh, there you are. Hi, radio. Uh, we'll get you in a minute. First, we want to put the companion cube right here, and then we're going to get you. Where do you go? Hmm. You don't go over here, do you? No. It probably goes in the top room with the cube, so let's go bring it. Alright. Huh. Oh, I fell. Dang radio and you're hard to handle. Okay, let's try that again. There we go. Let's bring the radio first see where that needs to go. Ah, right here. 
I'm just gonna leave the radio right here. And let's go get the cube. Come on, my friend. My George, if if you will. You did it. The weighted companion cube certainly brought you good Certainly luck. did. However, it cannot accompany Wait, you for what? the rest of the test and unfortunately must be euthanized. But, but my companion Please cube. Your companion cube to the Aperture Science Emergency Intelligence Incinerator. But I don't want to. He's my George. I'm going to use the radio instead. Here, you can have this radio. You don't, you don't need the companion cube. Did it work? No. Aw. Well, I guess we're going to have to get rid of him because it's the only way to continue. And, you know, that's how games work. But, 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 Going up. Ah, <sighs> poor companion the cube. Experiment is nearing its conclusion. The enrichment center this is a is pretty long and annoying chamber, so let's see if we can get through it nice and quickly. There is a radio, I believe, in this room, and I'm not going to be doing that one right now because that one's a huge pain to get. It's uh, it You pretty much got to bring the radio all the way towards the end, so I'm not going to do that right now. I'll do that in a bonus episode. So for now, let's just go through the chamber normal. I believe the radio's got to go, like, right over here or something. It's a pain. But all right, let's uh, continue on. Pretty much, you just want to get yourself over there. I'm going to do that. So we're over here, and now we want to get ourselves across, so let's do that. This is actually where the exit is. We need to go there eventually, but we'll get there soon. Oh, we need some momentum ourselves across. There we go. Uh, pretty much what you need in this room is a cube so you can open that door. There's no place to shoot a portal, so we have to do it the hard way. Let's open this door and get across. And watch out for that guy. Ow. Uh, the first thing you're going to want to do in this area is get rid of these guys, because they're a huge pain, so... We'll use the, uh, thing that's shooting lasers at everything to get rid of them. Let's actually throw it right there. And that should take out this guy, as you can see. It'll go all the way over here and smack him in the face. Well-deserved smack in the face. Alright. Just remember where those things are shooting, and, and try and shoot at where those things are aiming, because it'll go directly to them. Okay. Let's shoot one right there. Oh, I missed. Oh well. Let's try right there. That should kill that one. That should kill this one, actually. But now we're gonna want one over there. Over here. Oh, I missed it? Really? Well, that's lame. Well, at least I'll get that one. Now let's put one right there. And right here. And that should get rid of this one. And then we'll finally have no guys shooting at us. That was a pain. Get out of here. <laughs> okay. Now the next thing we're going to want to do is get this thing open by pressing that button. So we'll do that. And we're also going to want... it. We're also going to want that thing to shoot out forward like that. So let's do that. And now it's shooting. Let's quickly go across and press the button. Button! Ah, that wasn't too bad. Now this platform works, and we can go across. And whoa, did that thing still go? That's weird. Yeah, now that this platform can move, we can go across, and we can go into that bottom room over there that we need to go to, because we want to press that button so we can uh, make some platforms move. Let's, uh... Actually, no, it doesn't matter. Let's just go across, because we want that cube right up there. That's what we need to take back into the previous room. Alright, once we get close enough, we should be able to jump right into this area. As you can see, there's portals that we can press here. We are going to want to shoot at that. See, it's moving, it's opening. That's our way back, by the way. Now that it's there, we can go over here. 
And we're going to want to ricochet ourselves down. Let's hurry up and do that. Right down here. Whee! All right. And now we got the cube. Let's bring the cube back. Now we just need to get ourselves out of here. Okay. Now that the cube is here, we just need to open this door. So let's get back on there and go across and get our get ourselves out. I'll throw a portal right there because that's where we're going to need to come out from. Throw a portal here. And now that door is open, we just need to grab the cube and leave. That wasn't too bad. Alright, now the door is open and we can exit. Actually, I don't think there's a proper way to get over there. Well, let's go over here. There we go. Alright. But the chamber is not over just yet. There's still a little more to go. This one's actually pretty fun. You gotta use lots of momentum to get up all the way up to the top. Oh, get out of here. He's staring at me. Die. Uh, what you want to do is place one portal on that platform and then use the other portal to go all the way over there. I like to alternate portals and just go up and down. Let's see, orange, blue, orange. We. Be All right. The next test requires exposure to uninsulated electrical parts that may be dangerous under certain conditions. There For we more go. more information, please attend an enrichment center electrical safety seminar. <laughs> I will do. Will do. All right. We are finally done with this chamber. And uh, the next chamber is pretty long, so... That's pretty much all we got for this episode. In the next episode, we will do the final chamber, Chamber 19. This is Game Freak RX. Thank you for watching, and see you later.